So the first thing we're going to talk about is how to make a sound. Now, if you have younger siblings or older siblings, I'm sure you've done <laughs> at them before. And that's very similar to what we're going to do with our, with our mouthpiece. Except we're going to keep our tongue in our mouth. It's more of a <laughs> sound. Now, to get that, we can do this a number of different ways. But what I want you to think is that you had the most yummy meal you've ever had. And you went, mmm, like, mmm, that was so good. When you go, mmm, we have our lips together, and our corners are actually kind of tight on their own. Try it again. Mmm. You'll feel you've engaged the muscles in the corners of your mouth. All I'm going to do now is see if I can push air out the middle of my lips. I'm not going to pull my lips apart. I'm going to keep them together. Mmm. <coughs> and that's exactly what I want to do. All I'm going to do now is center the mouthpiece on my lips. I don't want it like up and over my nose. That would be bad. I don't want it like down by my chin. I want it nice and centered both height-wise and sideways. I'm going to do the same thing. And that's the sound we want. And you'll notice a couple of times I do this just out of habit. I will lick my lips because it's actually easier to get your lips to buzz or vibrate when they're wet. So I'm going to lick my lips and I'll do it again. Lick them, lips together, think mmm. That's all we're doing. If you can make that sound, you are on the right track. Good for you. Now, a lot of times when you get started, you'll be able to go a nice short sound. Your goal right now, especially right when you start, is to see if you can get your air to move, to travel fast, and to see if you can keep that air sustained. So when I play, I'm not going to go <clears throat> and be done. Just like when you would sing a song, you wouldn't go meh, re, at, a, uh, lit, till, lamb. You want long notes. Mary had a little lamb. I want a nice long note. So you can pause this and see if you can do this on your own a couple of times. Pause the video and see if you can make a nice sustained buzz. Or if some of your friends do this as well, if they're playing the trombone, see if you can have a race with them. Who can last the longest? And I'll give you a tip if you're doing this. Don't try to explode all your air right at the same time. You're going to run out of air really quickly. It's a very, very gentle release of the air. Almost like a little more powerful than blowing out a birthday candle. That's all the air I'm using. I'm keeping it nice down here. And a nice gentle release. So pause the video a couple times, but pause the video and see if you can do this a couple times and then we'll join back up when you're ready.